In today's discussion, our point of discussion is the non-beta lactam antibiotics. And from the non-beta lactams, we are going to discuss the vancomycin, its mechanism of action. Before we get uh, right into the discussion of mechanism, let us know a little bit about the bacterial cell membrane and the cell wall. Because these are very important points. Because of this, you can understand the mechanism in a very easy way then. Well, we have transglycosylase, pentapeptides, DLR, DLR, NAMNEG, PBP, penicillin binding protein, and etc. So what are these actually? First, let us know these. After that, we'll come towards the mechanism. You guys know that cytoplasm is covered by the cell membrane and on the cell membrane we have the penicillin binding protein which is actually a transpeptidase and you guys know that we have a number of transpeptidases enzymes this is the one of those transpeptidases so this is the very enzyme that is actually on the cell membrane now what is its job we we'll know the job of this enzyme in the cell wall first of all let's know the components of the cell wall Peptidoglycan cell wall, which is actually made up of the components of the NAM NAG, N acetyl muramic acid, N acetyl glycosamine. These units combine together, they make a chain. And then these there are actually two chains available, one on upper side and the one on downside. These two chains are then further linked by the pentapeptides. These are actually the pentapeptides, one from the upper chain, one from the liver chain. These two pentapeptides then cross link together. After the cross link, they actually then form the cell wall, peptidoglycan cell wall. Now, first of all, let's know how this uh, formation takes place. Here we got the penicillin binding protein, the name transpeptidase. You can guess from the function of this enzyme from the name transpeptidase. Peptidase, you can see peptide where we have a peptide chain here uh, from one uh, chain of the NAMNEG units. And uh, here we have another uh, peptide from the next uh, chain of the NAMNEG units. So this transpeptidase is actually going to cross-link these peptides. So what will happen then? The upper chain will then actually a kind linked with the uh, lower chain by means of these two peptides. So you can say that the pentapeptides are linked by the transpeptidase enzyme, which is actually the penicillin binding protein. So here we got the job of the penicillin binding protein. Its main function is to cross-link the pentapeptides. Now let's move towards the NAM NAG units. These NAM NAG units, they are also supposed to be linked with each other. And this linkage is provided by the transglycosylase. This is the very enzyme that actually links the terminus DLR with another terminus DLR. So these terminus linkage is actually provided by the transglycosylase. Now what is DLR, DLR? These are actually the terminus D alanine and D alanyl. These terminus are actually linked by this particular enzyme known as transglycosylase. So you can say in short, chain up of the uh, NAMNEG units is done by the transglycosylase whereas uh, the two chains are actually linked by the pentapeptides. So here we got two very important enzymes. Enzyme number one, penicillin binding protein. Enzyme number two, transglycosylase. The two are important and responsible to do the synthesis of the cell wall. Now let's come towards the mechanism of action of the vancomycin, how this vancomycin does the job. Coming to the point, vancomycin is actually the cell wall synthesis inhibitor. In the beginning, I told you guys that we have beta lactams and non beta lactams. All these are responsible to inhibit the cell wall. Now, this is the non beta lactam because of what? Because it does not have the beta lactam ring in its structure. So, due to this particular reason, we place vancomycin in the non beta lactams antibiotics. Simple. Now, let's come to the point mechanism of action how this vancomycin is going to inhibit the cell wall synthesis. Very simple. Vancomycin will actually target this enzyme, transglycosylase. This vancomycin will inhibit this transglycosylase. What will happen then? Very simple. When these terminus, DLR, DLR, they will not be linked. Why? Because the transglycosylase is not available. So when they are not going to link, then it is obvious that there won't be any linkage with the NAMNEG units. So one can say that there is actually a kind of inhibition of the cell wall synthesis. So when there is no formation of the cell wall, what will happen? Very simple. We are discussing this point from the very beginning of our lectures that there is a fluid surrounding the bacterium. What will happen when there is weak formation or synthesis of the cell wall? This fluid will start diffusing inside this bacterium. After this fluid enters the bacterium, this fluid will 
exert the osmotic pressure on this particular cell membrane and we know that the cell membrane cannot withstand or cannot resist the pressure this osmotic pressure so what will happen this osmotic pressure will cause the lysis of the bacterium so what will happen then the bacterial membrane will lyse so like this it's obvious to state the statement that vancomycin are actually the bactericidal antibiotics remember one very important point these antibiotics along with the beta lactams uh, plus some other non beta lactam they all have got a very important and common job that they are functioning as bactericidal when the bacteria is actually in the growth phase means when bacteria is dividing time and again in excessive division so in that particular situation if we are indicating the beta lactams and non beta lactams then most of our these antibiotics are showing the bactericidal mechanism of action means they're going to lyse the bacteria and if we are indicating these antibiotics in a state of rest means when our bacteria are not dividing they are in rest so in that case then our most of the antibiotics they show the bacteriostatic mechanism of action means in that case they don't kill the bacteria whereas in developing in a growth phase of the bacteria when we indicate these antibiotics they actually lice they actually kill those uh, bacteria and that's it from my side regarding the mechanism of action of the vancomycin and if still you have a question or confusion drop that in the comment box and thank you for watching